is the elimination of this U.S. Mexico tariff problem now? Is that a net I think plus that's for really emerging markets? A very plus plus, yeah. Very, and we do hope this is going to be also happen with the U.S. China. I mean, this is just a good uh, development in which, at the end, recognizing the U.S. themselves is going to be affected by this policy negatively in this case. Uh, that then, because all this decision will harm not only the other parties outside the U.S., but also to the U.S. economy. So we do hope this recognition is going to create more, what you call it, reasonable policy direction. When you look at the latest from U.S. and President Trump, the latest from President Xi Jinping, mm -hmm. uh, Chinese saying, we can do this, we can fight back, you know, U.S. basically saying the same thing. What is your sense of when, when and how this ends? Is this, are we going to be a year from now still talking about the U.S.-China trade war? I'm expecting this is going to be long. Because why? From what we see before, if history can provide us with a perspective, if this is purely about economics or only trade, actually we have a lot of opportunity as well as ability to have a common ground. So if this is only about trade and economic issue, I think the track record of both countries showing that they have the ability to come up with a consensus or a common interest that can be designed. But we saw in the past couple of months or even six months that this is becoming non-trade issue or this is not only trade and economic issue. This is becoming a security geopolitical. So it is creating a more complication because then it creates less room for maneuver when it is touching the issue which is too sensitive politically and security for both sides. And that is what we see as the potential that this is going to be longer than just the trade. 